a lot of time in your SDET interview, they're going to ask you the question, how do you test a post API effectively? Now, whenever you want to test a post API, you will be testing it on five things. The first one is going to be schema validation. Your response JSON must match your correct structure. So you want to check whether all the fields are present in your response and you want to check whether the data types are correct. So over here, I want to check whether ID is present in the response and the value of the ID should be integer. Next is going to be mandatory fields check. If any required field is missing in your payload, then your API must return proper error message along with the status code like 400 or 422. Third thing is going to be DB validation. Most of the post APIs either insert or update something in the database table. So you want to check whether the entries are going properly in the database table or not. So for this, you are going to make a post request. You are going to capture the ID from the response and you're going to run a select query on the database table and assert the values. Fourth thing, you are going to do something which is called as idempotency check. Now, you're going to make the same request twice and it should not duplicate the records in the database table. So if it is a duplicate payload, you should be getting 409 conflict status code. Fifth one is going to be rate limiting. Now, you want to make sure your APIs are immune to DDoS as well as bot attack. So what you are going to do is in a short period of time, you're going to make multiple API requests and you want to check that whether you're getting 429 status code or not.